Welcome all. I am Safalta Kerala. In today's topic will be types of computer. Now let's start our topic. So far you have studied about computers, its features, application, etc. Now we will learn here about computers are classified into three types. Now let us study different classification of computer. First of all, we will study about analog computers. These computers operate by measuring quantities. This computer processes the information which is physical and continuous in nature. Analog computers are special purpose machines which perform a particular task and are most often used in the field of science. For example, in fire alarm, an analog processor measures the atmospheric pressures. The analog computers are thermometer, pressure gauge, watches, speedometers, etc. Now, second computers, digital computers. These computers are affected by counting. They express all the quantities in number. These computers assert values in discrete form. They perform calculations on numbers such as binary digits, zeros and ones and operate them mathematically. Most of the digital computers are general purpose computers that are widely used throughout the world. Some of the examples of digital computers are digital clock, digital multimeter, personal computer, mini computer, mainframe computer, etc. And now let us come to the next type of computer which is known as the hybrid computer and it is also known as the combination of analog and digital computer. A combination of computer that is capable of inputting and outputting in both digital and analog signal is called a hybrid computer. A hybrid computer system sets up offers a cost effective method of performing complex simulation. The computer discussed here can be used to perform specific tasks or to perform general tasks so they can be classified as special computer special purpose computer and general purpose computer in general purpose computer this computer performs a variety of tasks in this computer the sequence of the instruction is not permanently stored but is read from an input devices they can process any kind of data. For example, these are used to prepare payrolls, inventory, sales report, play games, etc. This type of computer are further classified into super, mainframe, mini computer and micro computer. Now next comes special purpose computer. This computer performs a specific task. A sequence of instruction is permanently circulated to perform the given task. This computer cost less, for example, submarines and for tracking specific and satellites. Now we will learn about supercomputer. Supercomputer is a board term for one of the fastest computers currently available. Supercomputers are very expensive and are employed for specialized applications that require immense amount of mathematical calculation. For example, weather forecasting requires a supercomputer. Other uses of supercomputers are scientific simulation, graphic, fluid, dynamic calculation, nuclear energy research, electronic design, and analysis of geological data. The best known super manufacturer company, Free Research, is the one of the best supercomputer. Now, next comes mainframe computer. Mainframe computer was a term originally referring to the cabinet containing of the central processor unit that covered almost entire room. After the emergence of small mini computer designs in the early 1970s, the traditional big iron machine were described as mainframe computer and eventually just as mainframes. A mainframe is a very large and expensive computer. It is capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously. The main difference between a supercomputer and a mainframe computer is that the first channel all its power into executing a few programs as fast as possible, whereas the latter uses its power to execute many programs concurrently. Next comes mini computer. It is a mid-size computer. 
in the past decade the distinction between large mini computer and small mainframe was blurred however this remained distinction between small mini computer and workstation but in general a mini computer is a multi processing system capable of supporting up to 200 users simultaneously and here are some types of mini computers such as desktop computer laptop notebook hybrid tablet smartphone etc now next come workstation computer it is a type of computer used for engineering applications such as use of cad cam etc workstation generally come with a large high resolution graphic screen a large amount of ram built in network support and a graphical user interface now next comes personal computer it can be defined as a small relatively inexpensive computer designed for an individual user all are based on microprocessor technology that enables manufacturer to put an entire cpu on one chip personal computer are mainly used for business house use such as word processing accounting desktop publishing etc today the world of personal computer is basically divided into apple macintosh and pc the principal character is personal computer are that they are single user system and are based on microprocessor and here are some of the personal computer types which consist of a tower model the term refers to a computer in which the power supply motherboard and mass storage device are stacked on top of each other in a cabinet this is in contrast to desktop model in which these component are housed in a more compact box the main advantage of tower model is that there are fewer space constraints which makes the installation of additional storage device lighter and next come desktop model a computer designed to fit comfortably on the top of desk typically with the monitor sitting on the top of the computer desktop model computer are broad and low whereas tower model computer are narrow and tall because of their shape desktop model computer are generally limited to three internal mass storage device desktop models designed to be very small are sometimes referred to as slim line model notebook computers extremely lightweight personal computer notebook computer are typically weight easily in briefcase after from size the principal difference between a notebook computer and a personal computer is the display screen notebook computer use a variety of technique known as flat panel technology to produce lightweight and non bulky display screen the quality of notebook display screen varies considerably In terms of computing power modern notebooks are nearly equivalent to personal computers Now next come laptop computer It is a, a small portable computer small enough to sit on our lap Nowadays laptop computer are more frequently called notebook computer and next come sub notebook computer It is a portable computer that is slightly lighter and smaller than a full sized and of notebook computer. Typically sub notebook computers have a smaller keyboard and screen but are otherwise equivalent to the notebook computer and next comes handheld computer. It is a portable computer that is small enough to be held in one hand. Although extremely convenient to carry handheld computer have not replaced notebook computer because of their small keyboards and screen. The most popular handheld computer are those are specifically designed to provide personal information manager such as a calendar and address book. Handheld computer are also called PDS, palm top and pocket computer. Now next comes palm top. It is a small computer that literally fits in your hand. And next comes PDA. You know it's we call personal digital assistant. Uh, it is a handheld device that combines computing telephone or fax or networking features a typical pdf can function as a cellular phone fax sender and personal organizer pdas had modest success in marketplace due to their high price tags and limited application pdas are also called palm top handheld computer and pocket computers This is all for today. If you like my video then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like, comment and share.
and thank you so much for today bye bye